Catherine John and Catherine Debs, in support of NPR's new global headquarters and production center in Washington, D.C. This is NPR. I'm glad this is in the shop so I can spend the next couple of days trying to fix it. A couple of years ago, I changed the differential in this Corvair and I put in the wrong differential fluid. I put in GL5 with extreme pressure additives. And it's not what it uses, it uses GL4 which has less high pressure additives that may affect the synchros. If you shift a lot, it affects the brass and the synchros. So I had just put the differential in and put the oil in and you can't get the oil out of here because there's no room. None. So I said, well, how am I going to get the differential oil out of this differential since there's a boss there's a boss there for a drain plug, but they never put it in. They got one here for the transmission, but not for the differential. So I said, oh, wait a second here. I got a couple bolt holes that go most of the way through the case for the camber compensator. I'll just go all the way through with the drill. It took two seconds. Zing! And then I put some thread sealer on the bolt and didn't even leak a drop. Too bad I nicked the seal when I put the clutch shaft in. The output shaft and I gotta pull the whole thing apart and put a new clutch in it and put a new seal in it. So, got all the linkages disconnected. Clutch rod, clutch pivot bolt, backup light wires which never work anyways, shifter, universal joints are undone, heater hoses, exhaust manifolds off, it goes up into the turbo. Camera compensator nuts are off. Cotter pins are off for the front cross member. I've got to undo those bolts. Undo the back. So I got to take all these shrouds off. Crap. Yep. Got to undo all the bolts that hold the rubber retainer on. The rubber seal. Oh boy. Lots of little bolts. The air grill has to come off. What was my almost mint air grill that I mangled? I got lots to do here. We're gonna fill it up with oil. Rust. Rust. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Alrighty. I'm hard at work. I'm hard at work. Auto parts. Had this oil pad for 30 something years. Finally put it on something. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Just like chocolate syrup on your Sunday. All the bolts are undone. Look at the rust starting. This was all nicely painted. You'd think a Corvair would have a decent film of oil to prevent rust, but no. Rust on the differential I just installed two years ago. Rust on the heater shroud. Rust. Rust on everything. I've got four minutes and nine seconds. She's real fine. My four and I had to drop this motor before I run into memory. I've been slack. I've been using Mrs. CW's computer to do movies and she doesn't like me to use it, so I do it when she's sleeping. <laughs> Sometimes. Got Corvair nuts and bolts. I bought those in Kalamazoo. It's going to be a year, a couple of months. So, time to drop the motor power pack, uni pack. Time to steady the camera. Time to drop it. Four minutes of memory left. It'd be nice if I had an engine cradle. Or move the lamp away when the thing tips over. I've got the clutch cross shaft that's got to separate. Here she comes. I wiggled the fuel line to get it out of the way and it came undone. No clamp. On the pressurized fuel line. I'm looking here to make sure all the wires are disconnected. Yep, shrouds are disconnected. Rubber seals are disconnected. Axles are pulled back. And the Corvair clutch is a PIA. That's a little more complicated. Clutches to change. Yeah. Speaking of, by the way,
of issues that affect our lives. Our I to come way down. Nice to be sitting on a motorcycle waist or something, but it ain't. Just sitting on this six by six block of the wood. Other people can get something out of it. So that's really after in the words. Well, cables disconnected. Uh, create a place for 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 the the vehicles up at an angle and the jack wants to come down straight, not at the same tilt as the vehicle. This vehicle's tilted like that, Jack wants to come down like this, kind of sort of. I have a time I'd build myself an engine support bracket to put on the jack from the left eye. That roof leaks, it's running leaks. Ugh. There you are. There you are. Still sitting on the uh, um, our existence transmission mount. Um, to the game to, especially as we drop the fact that I had like an international audience. Yep. What's it doing on my memory? And so, um, Can't see it for too much of an angle, no longer disturbing. Drop this baby. Heater hose is disconnected. Oil. Breather tube is just about to clear the frame. Body. Clunk. I fixed the problem. I used a chain that I took off of a junk parade apparatus <laughs> 15, 20 years ago, just hanging on the wall. Not very thick, but when I suspended the back of the engine, the front dropped down a little bit. So now I can jack it back up. And I forgot one cable, my alternator cable, and I sort of mangled the wire a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Mangled the wire. Pulled it apart a little bit. Pulled it out of this little holder. Not a big deal. It's just dumb. Forgot the alternator wire. Oh well. Nothing's perfect. Alrighty. Let's see, with the three minutes of video time I have left. I've been using Mr. CW's computer, so I keep forgetting if I've taken the stuff off the chip. Probably did. I never forget. Whoa, here she comes. Not falling in the top. She's free. Swing around. engine support frame would be real nice. Yeah, it's just stuck to the transmission. Whoop! What? Heavy. Yeah, she'll be down in a second. Down. No crushed body parts. That's what we need, huh? Don't need no injuries. Had my share. Over the years. State Board of Elections Commissioners and Secretary of State's Office say 
Recording. Yep. 37 seconds left. Whoop! Clunk! <laughs> oh well. No harm done. Yeah, how not to remove your Corvair engine, especially one that I paid so much money to have rebuilt. What we got left here? 15 seconds. Better take the jack out of there and let the wood cushion the blow on my nice shrapping. Yeah, yeah, that's how to remove your Corvair engine. Just let it rip. Blonk.